Hey everybody, it's Blair. I've been meaning to make a vlog for a while now um, on a lot of different topics that have been going on recently with me. Um, if you've been a follower of mine, um, you know that I typically like to kind of share a lot of stuff about me, about my family, things that are going on in our life. Um, but there's a lot of other things that I don't always necessarily talk about totally in depth. Um, but I've been finding that there are certain things that when I do talk about them that I get a lot of um, a response from people and they ask me tons of questions so I figured I would kind of make a video kind of sharing some stuff. Sorry, that's Landon. Hi, say hi. Hi. So first I wanted to address um, one main issue <clears throat> with um, my daughter. I don't want to go super far into depth with this because it's a lot of stuff, but if people have been friends with me for a while or following me for a while have known that my daughter has been struggling with different medical issues for some time now. She's 12 and it started when she was six. Um, and for a long time they couldn't figure out what was going on with her. She was having a wide variety of medical stuff. Um, but it had been linked finally to sleep problems from sleep apnea, which she ended up having her tonsils and adenoids removed when she was eight. Um, and things got better, but still had not improved fully. And just recently, we've been dealing with her orthodontist, um, deal to um, you know normal orthodontic treatment, but then it was brought to our attention that she had a very small jaw and it was sitting very far back. And when she found out that she had sleep apnea issues, she had said, this is something you might want to talk to them about because it could be potentially the reason why she's having um, sleep problems. And the long story short, after several different other appointments with other specialists and uh, another um, scope that was kind of put down her throat to kind of see what was going on while she was sleeping. Um, they did determine that it is her jaw that is falling and collapsing back on her uh, airway, about closes off 90% of her airway when she sleeps. So she will be having jaw surgery. So the last several months we've been dealing with that and especially the last month doctor's appointments and um, helping her kind of process all of this it's been a little overwhelming and stressful for her because she's been dealing with this for a really long time and just wants to start feeling normal again because she's just very very tired and exhausted so as a mom if you're a mom you understand the level of stress that puts on you as a mom to see your kid that upset and be struggling for so long like she's been so you know, if you want to learn more about that or have questions, obviously message me or comment below this video um, and I'd be more than happy because I did have several people um, message me um, when I started talking about it or posting photos of what her jaw looks like and several people were like, wow, my jaw looks like that and I actually have been having weird symptoms. Like, what were her symptoms? Um, I always advise everybody, um, if you're having weird symptoms that are unexplained, um, and doctors can't figure it out, a sleep doctor is probably one of the best people you can go and talk to because you would be amazed how many people actually have sleep apnea um, and they are unaware that they have sleep apnea. You do not need to snore to be classified as somebody who has sleep apnea. My daughter does not snore at all. Um, and it's never hurts to have a sleep study done. So besides that, I've been having some medical issues of my own that have been going really um, for a long time and doctors have been kind of stumped. Um, if you've been following me for a while too, you've noticed that I've had my ups and my downs, um, that I've struggled with um, severe sinus infections. I've dealt with many um, different unexplained issues that have gone on that have been forcing me to go into the doctors many times. And um, the last probably six months it's been progressively been getting worse um, it's been more figured that this is due to um, a female problem that's lowering my immune system which is why I'm getting so sick um, in and around my cycles and when I'm ovulating I tend to get colds very easily during this time because my immune system basically plummets um, they're thinking it's endometriosis. Um, my mother had it, my grandmother had it, so the likelihood that I have it is high. Plus, due to my symptoms, it's suggested that this is what it is. I've been having a really hard month this month. The last two weeks, it's been really difficult for me. I've been in a lot of discomfort. I've been extremely exhausted. 
um, and just not feeling well at all to the point that, um, and I hate to even say this, I have not worked out in almost two weeks due to my level of exhaustion, can't even talk. And it's something definitely that I, I hate to, I shouldn't say hate, hate such a strong word. I, I don't like sharing because I pride myself in helping other women overcome their hurdles. And when I have a hurdle that's keeping me down, it, I feel like I'm failing. Um, you know, cause I'm not doing as much as I could be doing. But at the same time, I am one who also firmly believes if there's something going on with your body and you're not feeling well, um, don't push yourself. Don't be pushing yourself to be doing workouts that it could be uh, maybe damaging something or making something worse. And since they haven't been able to figure out what's going on with me, and I've been so unbelievably exhausted, like I'm falling asleep. Like literally, I joke around me and my daughter are both like, oh my God, we're both messes. Like she's falling asleep. I'm falling asleep for obviously for different reasons. Her stuff is different than mine, but I feel bad for my husband because it's like a hormonal like roller coaster in this house right now. I'm sure he's about ready to go take like a, a boy's month away from this household <laughs> because my emotions have been on overdrive. Um, I've struggled in the past with horrible postpartum depression. I also struggled with postpartum depression post um, uh, weaning my son from breastfeeding. Um, if you didn't know that that's something that can happen, I highly recommend. There's a video that I made sharing about it and I should probably even make more videos because that's another one that I get tons of questions about is that women don't know that you can get postpartum depression again after weaning you're a child from breastfeeding because it's a, a drop in hormones. Your hormones need to regulate. And this is what's leading me now to getting my hormone levels checked, which I was supposed to, I went in today. I didn't, wasn't supposed to, I was supposed to get the test done, but I went in today and lo and behold, they were like, oh, we don't have the right documentation. We need to talk to the doctor again. Your doctor's on vacation. We don't know why they scheduled you for this. We need to get more clear, like clearance or whatever, or approval from your doctor to have hormone levels checked. So I drove all the way down in traffic, wasted two hours of my day to basically get told that I wasn't having my hormone levels chest checked. So needless to say, being hormonal, I felt like I was going to cry and walked back to my car, just upset and not feeling well. I'm having so many weird symptoms. I ended up taking a pregnancy test this morning, which I, I, I even vlogged it out, but I don't know if I want to share it because it was kind of embarrassing. Um, but like, seriously, it's just been a crazy, crazy roller coaster of what's going on. So I, I wanted to fill people in because I know that like, I'm typically usually, I share a lot. I'm sharing like my workouts and I'm talking about my workouts. And for me not to be sharing stuff like that, I'm sure sometimes people are like, well, is she not like, what is she doing? Like what's going on with her? And I want people to know, like, I'm just dealing a lot with some physical stuff right now. I am trying to take care of myself as best as I can. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with me. I'm trying to work closely with my doctors. Um, but like I said, I am not one to force my body during times where it's obviously feeling very overworked and overstressed. I've been getting sick very, very easily, um, due to whatever is lowering my immune system around my cycles. And right now I'm sitting at 10 days late. No, I'm not pregnant. Okay. I checked this morning. If you want me to even go dig out the, the pregnancy test and show you, I'm not pregnant. Um, I'm, my periods are late like every month and I, my husband's always like, oh my God, you're pregnant again. And I'm like, no, I'm not pregnant. It just happens every single month and we don't know why. Um, so if you have questions or if you're even going through this, like, please, by all means, message me. Or if you've gone through something like this and you're like, oh my gosh, she should totally test for this or look at this or talk to her doctor about this, please, please tell me because I'm literally racking my brain and trying to figure out what's going on with my body um, so I can get healthy again and be happy again and just feel like me again. I'm a little, <laughs> I feel like I'm always going to cry because I'm so emotionally drained and physically drained right now with how I'm feeling. Um, so any extra support thing is always appreciated and is always welcomed. So love you guys. And, uh, if, uh, you're a new follower of mine and this is your very first video of watching me, please, by all means, um, continue watching my journey and, uh, I hope to get to know you. So, bye.